today we're going to be talking about how to import red one footage into adobe premiere cs5 and look around with some of the features that adobe premiere cs5 offers when working with red one footage so here i am inside of adobe premiere and you can see that we have a red raw clip here located on my timeline and we are in a 4k timeline so let's look at how I set this up so for now I will launch Premiere from your dock and I'm working on a Mac platform so this is basically for Mac users but it should be fairly similar in Windows let's do file new project no thank you okay so here I'll set up where I want my footage to go to. I just made a folder on one of my hard drives and we'll give it a name and hit OK. Now this is really where it all comes down to. Under available presets, you're going to find red and red are 3D clips. Here is where you'll be able to choose which kind of timeline you'd like to have. My suggestion to you is to choose what your final output is going to be. If your final output is going to be 1080p, then choose the 1080p timelines. 1K, 2K, 3K, 4.5K or 4K, 720p, HD 4K. In this case, I'll just choose 4K and then I'll match it up with what I shot with on set which was 23.976 16 by 9 4k and I'll leave the sequence name as 01 and I'll hit a color okay here we are inside of Adobe Premiere so if I click on my sequence you can see that it is a 4k sequence 48 kilohertz sound 23.976 so next we're going to import our red footage file import Find your red footage. I'll just choose this. And I'll choose one of these. And I'll import the whole folder. And there we go. If I click on this, we have a red raw clip. You can see it was shot at 4480 by 1920, 23.976. And it has sound, but we're not going to use it because we didn't go into the camera. We have an external recorder. So a cool thing about Adobe Premiere is that you can edit the actual raw files and you can actually do some preliminary color correction on the red raw. It's really nice that we have raw files here. So if I right click inside of my browser here and go to source settings, I could look at some of the raw settings that we have for the clip. And I can actually do some preliminary color corrections to that. My color slate here helps with that. So if I wanted to adjust the white balance, you can actually see you know what looks like white one thing I don't like is they don't have a little um, white balance icon that you can actually click on white and change it but you could do some preliminary things if you wanted to you can change the ISO that you shot at you can go all the way up I'm gonna leave it on 800 for now um, you can choose different color spaces if you had to add it in a different color space I'm gonna leave them on red for now um, you can save these presets. You can adjust all of these different things. Brightness. We'll go back to zero on that. And hit OK. So I just hit enter there. Then I can drag my clip down into the timeline. And here it is, the 4K timeline. So I'm going to double click on my clip, bring it over here into the preview window. So I, I have the clip selected here. There's a couple of different ways that you can view your footage and you can adjust how you're viewing your footage as far as resolution inside of Adobe Premiere. So if I right click on the actual clip in the viewer here, if I have it selected, I can go to playback resolution. Right now it's set to full. If your computer is not a supercomputer and you can't handle full, then you can always drop it down to half. See, my computer can probably play half. So it's playing back not too great, but my clip has not yet been conformed. So let's drop back to one fourth for now. 
and we'll play it again. So there it goes. It's playing pretty smooth now. Now he has a little bobby head right here. So I'm using four cores for this. If I go to about this Mac, I have a 2.66 Intel i5. It's four cores. You can see these four cores working. I have eight gigabytes of RAM, and this is on an iMac. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're working with here. You can also change, if I select the clip again, um, by double clicking, you can change the pause resolution as well. So I always leave it on full when it's stopped so I can actually see what the clip looks like. And I usually do half resolution because I can usually play back at that. You can render your timeline by pressing enter and it will render the clips, but you don't have to if you have a powerful enough computer. If you don't, then you'll have to render your timeline down and it will turn green and it will play nice and smooth. Okay, so that was the basics again of how to get the red clips into Adobe Premiere. You open up a new project. You'll make sure that you choose the file format that you want. In this case, we're doing a 4K timeline. But let's say I wanted to move this 4K timeline that I was editing in to a 1080p output. You can do that as well. And we'll do that without having to start a new project. Let's say I have all my clips here on the timeline. I'll put another one down here next to this one. And then I want to export all of this out on a 1080p timeline. So what we'll do is we'll go File, New, Sequence, and we'll choose a different resolution here. So let's go 1080p, 23.976. I'll call this 1080p, hit OK. So now I have my 1080p sequence here. There's two ways that you can bring it over. I can come over here, Command-C, and copy my clips, go over my 1080p, command V and paste them. Then select all by just dragging and selecting, right click and scale to frame size. So let's look at it before I do that. So you can see here it's really blown up because this is a 4K and a 1080p timeline. But if I just right click, scale to frame size, it goes back down. There's another way you can do this. I'll delete these. You can go to the sequence. I'm sorry, you can just stay on your 1080p timeline and then you'll drag your original timeline from sequence one into here. And now it nests the clips together. So you don't have to worry. Then you just right click and scale to frame size and you're all ready to go. All right, tune in next time or leave some comments for some more videos. Thanks for watching.